Hello everyone. So I didn't do videos for the past uh, couple of months because I was so busy. Now uh, I got some time to thought of uh, providing additional video today. So this session will talk about how we can convert Python data frame to Azure Databricks by Spark data frame and uh, vice versa. So one interesting thing I noticed recently that uh, the community edition that I was using till now is not available freely. Now you need to pay some uh, amount to the AWS storage and other processing unit. So I decided to go with Azure Databricks. So I just created the Azure Databricks cluster and it is warming up. Once it came up, then we can start discussing on the small tip that I would like to discuss today. Okay, so the cluster is up. So let's create uh, one notebook. So I just created one notebook PDF, uh, PD frame to Databricks frame. So let's get started. So what we can do is first we'll use one static list for this demonstration because we don't need to uh, create any lengthy file or uh, existing file to understand how we are going to convert it right so before going to the examples i would like to show you what exactly we are using so apache arrow is an in-memory columnar data format provided by apache spark that improve the performance while converting the data um, from one frame to another frame right but this is not enabled by default we need to have minor configuration changes i'll let you know uh, soon and uh, <clears throat> in addition optimization enabled enabled by spark.sql execution.arrow by spark.enable could fall back to a non arrow implementation if an error occurs before the computation within Spark. So, as a first step, let me create one uh, list. So, let's say data. I'll start with uh, some state name, right? So, we'll see yeah, And uh, let me add some Georgia, then um, New York. So, so just add it for states so you have this data and we can see what kind of uh, type it is so it it is the list data type we have so what we can do list can be converted into python uh, pandas data frame right so let's import uh, pandas now how you can import Let's say PDDF um, data dot sorry PD dot um, data frame pandas sorry sorry um, where is my data data right so this will convert the list into the pandas data frame so but if you look at here you find you can find that there is no column right so let me add the columns to this so you can easily add columns by pddf.columns and uh, put some name let it be state right so now we have state here and the corresponding values now our main intention is to convert a python data frame into databricks data frame it is not required every time but i think most of the scenarios um goes with the data scientist activities right so they may have to convert python data frame to databricks data, uh, data frame the problem with the Python data frame is it is executing in the main node. 
So we need to make sure that the number of records that we are converting to Python data frame is less. Um, but some some cases it is unavoidable. So, but only thing is you need to make sure that the list is small. Okay, so let's convert that into um, data frame, right? So let's give some name and uh, pdf dot create data frame. Um, inside that, we need to give the Python data frame. Sorry, spark dot spark repeater spark dot create data frame. Okay, so all right, so so this is how you can convert your Python data frame to Spark uh, data frame. Now we'll see how we can convert back data DataBricks data frame to the Python pandas data frame. Right, so back to PDF and our Spark data frame name is DF. DF dot um, select within course put star to pandas. This is how you can convert the Databricks frame back to Python data frame. I would like to show one more a small piece of uh, conversion. So previously we were using one column called state, right? Now what we can do, we can create multiple list, then zip it together and come up with a Python data frame, then convert that into Spark data frame, right? So for this example, right now I don't want to type it because typing is taking time. So I already um, typed and kept it ready for this demo. So in this demo, I'm using three lists. The first list is country name. Second list is the population for each country. And the third one is the actual percentage of population compared to the world population, right? Then the fourth statement, we are converting this data, uh, this list into, we are clubbing this into uh, one list using the zip function of Python. Then after that, we are converting that into Python data frame. Also, while zipping, we also giving the heading country population and percentage of the world population right so let's uh, display the list list and see how it um, coming up right so we have country population and percentage of world population so converting this into PySpark data frame is the same process even if once column or multiple columns I just want to show that there is no difference so the Syntax is just like a spark dot create data frame. If you go back and see, it is the same uh, process or same uh, syntax we used before, right? So there is no different, uh, even if multiple columns involved. All right. So keep in mind, if you want to use Python pandas uh, data frame, go ahead and do it because some places it is really required. To use numpy and other uh, act, other uh, formulas right but always keep in mind it is using one single node that's main node for the computation whereas uh, spark data frame it utilizes the uh, distributed uh, computing power so based on your use case you can go ahead and use it so let's see how it is created and displayed yep so this is how Spark data frame displayed. All right, so this is what I would like to uh, show you today. And uh, I'll come up with more such videos in future. And thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. If you would like to receive 
more such videos please like and subscribe to my channel also if you would like to connect with me i have provided my details here my email and linkedin so thank you very much